Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and this is a very, very special instrument. Um, in fact, so special. If, you, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that, uh, that we just kind of do one take generally, and we're probably just going to do one take here, but that's not what's special about it. What's special about it is we're actually um, really trying to record the uh, celestial qualities of this instrument. Uh, so, so we went to a greater extent actually miking this up. I think I'm, I'm actually miked here, which is also very unusual for, for my, uh, my videos. This, it's, this piano is just that special. So let me talk briefly uh, about the piano itself and then, and then I'll play it for you. And, and I should mention that, uh, that whenever um, um, any of the technicians tune this piano or work on it or, or anything like that. This is like working on a Ferrari or something. Everybody comments. Um, I've worked on every, you know, all the technicians have done, you know, little tweaks here and there, get, get a tuning ready for, for, you know, for a customer or whatever. And, and everybody just salivates over this piano. And if you, if you try it out, you'll, you'll absolutely see why everything is, is perfection from top to bottom. Um, okay, so Petrov, Petrov's been in, they've been in business since 1864 and, um, and it absolutely shows in, in the quality of this instrument. It's like 150 years plus of cumulative um, knowledge and expertise and understanding. I actually, I actually went to the facility not too long ago. Um, it's, in, uh, it's in Prague. Where everything everything is manufactured right there, right there in Prague, and it's and it's the I can I can attest. I spent a couple days there, and everything from from the beginning of manufacture of this piano all the way to the end is, is the very highest quality, most expensive materials that are even available for for pianos on the planet. Um, we we probably don't have time to get into all of it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just hit the highlights. The, uh, the soundboard, for example, um, we spent a lot of time in the in the soundboard area, um, since that's a that's a kind of a huge deal for the for the instrument. That's essentially the amplifier for the for the instrument. Um, essentially, what it comes down to is the tighter the grain of the wood, the more it um, the more it transmits the 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 sound waves of the. The, the strings transfer the sound waves through the bridge, and then the bridge goes through the soundboard. And the, the tighter the grain, the um, the better it does that, more efficiently as well. Um, and so, needless to say, what what they're using on on all of their instruments, but especially, especially, particularly on on their super high end pianos like this, the the 210, the Passat, um, they're they're really really selective. In the soundboard room, what, what they were doing is they is they they'd ha have um, literally hundreds of, of soundboard planks to choose from, and they line them up and in, in their jigs and and they they re rejected something like uh, I think it was 95 percent. It might have even been higher, and they they'd use that for um, they use all of that other wood for. Um, Depending on what it was being used for, either structural or um, uh, the, a lot of the framing and that sort of thing, um, but the sound, the, the soundboard, was just the was just the very best of the best that they were hand selecting every single plank, and it was it was a it was a pretty cool process to watch them watch them do that. Um, Everything else, everything else is entirely manufactured um, in in Prague, including the, the metal hardware. The uh, all of the finishing is done there. The, even the strings are done there. Um, the uh, uh, anyway, it's 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 all done. Um, which which, if you know anything about the the piano industry, that's that's a very unique, unusual um, feature. And they do that because uh, Susanna Petrofova, who is the uh, fifth generation in, in Petrov, she absolutely insists on having complete control over, over every aspect of the instrument from the, from the very start to the very finish. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just mention, I, I did get to meet her 
uh, on a few occasions. Um, and I, I mentioned that in a demonstration video simply because I think it matters who, who is in charge of the overall, um, for, for seeing the overall construction of the instrument. It trickles down. And she, she's an absolutely delightful woman. And um, but at the same time, her standards are extremely high and she insists on the very best. And that's what, that's what, uh, that's what we've got here. So, so heart of Europe, of course, Europe is the, um, is the, the origin of, uh, of, of the piano. Um, and right in this area, um, from uh, uh, Germany, Prague, all of that central European area, this, this, has the, the, this area has the tradition for, for building the very finest instruments in the world. And this is no question one of them. Okay, so after that giant warm up, wind up, let's, let's hear it. down here, but uh, not on the Petrov.
Pat is an absolutely exquisite instrument. Um, I hope you had your best speakers hooked up to watch to watch this. Um, you know what? And before the video is done, um, maybe while I while I talk about my my contact information, let's check out. Let's just get a video shot of the inside of the piano. So uh, it's I mean it's a beautiful instrument. It absolutely merits uh, some some uh, time there on the video. Uh, so you can contact me. My cell is 801-830-0011 and uh, the uh, address is 1497 South State Street in uh, Orem, Utah. Please come check it out for yourself. I'm certain that you'll be as blown away as everyone else is that, that plays this, this top, top instrument. Thanks for watching.